everyone, I'm Amelia. In today's video, I'm gonna to talk to you about getting your horse ready to introduce the flying changes. And I think that this is like a really important part of the flying changes. Um, I have some other videos on my channel about flying changes, like where I've done them on super confirmed horses. This is a horse who's second level and he's like ready to start thinking about introducing the flying changes. The key with the flying changes is the preparation. So you have to have the basics. You have to have the preparation so good. Then you have to try a few changes and then go back to the basics, go back to the preparation. So I'm gonna talk you through a little bit what I do with him. Be sure to subscribe to my channel. I post a new video about dressage every Wednesday. So I really hope you enjoy my content and it helps me a lot. Let me know in the comments if you are getting ready to introduce the flying changes with your horse or maybe you've been trying to teach your horse the flying changes it is hard it takes a long time to really confirm the flying changes and every horse is a little different there's also like a big learning curve i feel like a lot of times you kind of have beginner's luck and then it falls apart and you have to start over so the first thing that i work so much on before I'm gonna introduce the changes are the walk canter walk transitions. What I'm focusing on in these transitions is that the aid is simple. So I should just be able to walk along here, half all outside rein, drop my inside heel down and canter on. If you have to do a ton of monkeying to get a walk canter transition to happen, then you're not ready for the flying changes because the flying change aid is basically a walk canner, except for you don't do the walk, you just switch from one lead to the other. So this aid here, where you can just go from the walk to the canner, has to be super simple and super uncomplicated. My aid for the walk canner transition is inside seat bone, outside leg behind the girth, inside leg at the girth and then just slightly softening that inside rein so walk move him off the inside leg half all outside rein give left rein canter good boy i also really want to make sure that my horse stays round in the transition that he doesn't put his head up or come above the bit and I also really wanna focus on the activity of that first canter step. So like, I wanna think about, okay, get the walk active and come. That first stride, good boy, has to be a little quicker and a little jumpier because you need that for your flying change. Like you need to be able to have your horse active and jumping so that they jump through the first stride come that was better you saw how that first stride he kind of folded his hind legs more underneath of himself and came more through now it's really important that you focus on these transitions on both leads so i'm going to go to the right lead and you're going to notice that one lead is probably going to be easier than the other So, oh boy, or different than the other, but you really want to make sure that you can go can or walk, can or walk, can or walk very easily. No, oh, and see that time I got more activity behind, but he put his head up. So for these walk canner transitions, I have to have hind legs, withers, and the jaw. All three of those places have to stay supple and have to stay through oh, before I can even think about my changes. So your canter walk canners have to be at least this good before you can even think about changes. Like you have to be able to go on a circle, go canter walk, canter walk, canter walk, pay attention and really have this dialed in before you even think about your changes. Now the next step to working on your changes, well, there's a lot of steps 
But one of the next steps is that once you have your canner walk canners good like that, the next thing that I do is I start putting them on a shallow loop serpentine. So I'm gonna go from M out to X. I'm gonna make a transition to the walk and then I'm gonna canner on the left lead. And then I'm gonna go from X back to F, walk. No, that time he ran through my aid. So I'm gonna rein back and canner right. Good boy. So doing it with simple changes adds another element of difficulty because you have to go from one lead to the next. You're no longer on the circle, walk. Canner, good boy. Now, and then you can start thinking about like, okay, if I were to do a change to the right, I need to move him off my right leg. I need to make him supple right and canner right so that you start to do less and less walk steps and think about being able to set your horse up for the new lead. Good boy. Before you actually ask for the change. Oh, no. In that canner walk, he still kind of runs through me, which is why I made him back up just so that he would listen to my half halt and get a little bit more on the hind leg. So once I've done this exercise to the right, I'm gonna change and do it to the left as well. Boy. And like focusing on this preparation and these basics is incredibly important. Like today, you know, I probably could try a change. Oops, got a little spooked there. I probably could try a change, but like that, you know, where he gets a little spooky, he gets a little tense. Um, my transitions aren't crisp enough. I'm gonna put him in a little shoulder four and say, don't look over there. You've got to stay focusing here with me, good boy. So I really would rather err on the side of getting the basics down. Good boy. Over trying to do the changes when he's not strong enough behind and these basics aren't correct. Good boy. No. Good. No, that time he just ran through me. Good boy. Right, Lee Canner. Good. Walk. Good. And left Lee Canner. No. And if he gets like spooky or disobedient, I might need to turn him do a little turn on the forehand, and then canter left. Boy. Good boy. So it's really, it's all about the basics. Oh, and honestly, you cannot do too many of these simple changes. And they need to get really easy where you can go canter, walk, canter, walk, without a lot of disruptions or monkeying, good boy. So for him, he's not quite there yet. Maybe I'll film another video in a few weeks. Good boy. Once he's more ready to start doing the flying changes, but that's basically how I really get a horse prepared to do the flying changes and it's literally like hundreds and hundreds of canter walk canter transitions. So I hope this video was helpful. Let me know in the comments if you still have work to do or if you're ready to start your flying changes. And then even once you start your 
like trying a few flying changes, you just go back to like can or walk, can or walk, can or walk. You're gonna do thousands of them, but it's gonna pay off in the long run because getting frustrated, trying to just like run your horse or beat your horse to a flying change, it never works. I've tried it, it doesn't work. Uh, you just have to keep going back to these basics of like can or walk, can or walk, and also get to the point where you can go on a straight line and go leftly can or walk, rightly can or walk, leftly can or walk, rightly can or walk. So I hope this is helpful and that's it for today.